Day seven of Forge Keyboard updates every day until the product ships. Here's the results of that 3D print that we started yesterday. This is the first prototype for a folding origami exoskeleton on the Master's Forge. Let's see how it folds together. Unlike the folding metal components that we cut out last week, I designed the scoring on this to have arched or circular grooves so that we can test them with a variety of different angles. It's already incredibly solid, even though it's made out of plastic and not bolted down to anything. The actual version is going to be an absolute tank. Not only does this exoskeleton provide critical geometry to the finger plates and the thumb plates, the parts that drape over the edges provide the perfect attachment point for the bookend dovetail railing. This is the first video where I've ever revealed these railings to the public. So in the Forge ecosystem, there's two types of railings that you need to be aware of. You have slotted rails as well as bookend rails. Same dovetail geometry is built into the profiles of both of these rails. So all you have to do is take any number of these electromechanical bolt-ons and gently slide it on the edge. That allows it to easily slide back and forth anywhere along the perimeter of your device until you take just a simple M2 screwdriver, give it a quick tighten, and now this interface is incredibly robust. It's more along the lines of what you'd see in the machining world or the firearms world I physically cannot move this with all my force behind it. Right here you can see slotted rails on the front and back, and then you can see bookend rails on the left and right. If you watch this animation, you'll actually see one of those bookend rails being removed. The ability to remove that is the reason why, there it is, you're able to have so many different anchor bodies side by side with zero gap between those keys as if it's a monolithic product. When you have something that's removable by the user via screws, it's really, really important to have a robust interface there. We're not comfortable putting plastic threads in the side of the device because ultimately somebody would over tighten them and strip it, or it would just wear down over time. That's one of the reasons why I'm probably gonna full send this origami design because it serves the design in so many different ways. Not only does it allow us to sculpt geometry to get these amazing rolling switch assemblies, it also allows us to be able to attach those bookend railings anywhere around the perimeter that we want to make use of all of those awesome bolt-ons in the ecosystem. Tomorrow my goal is to cut the first origami exoskeleton out of metal. Let's do it.